wanna be on TV Scribble, scramble, just write my name in graffiti The airwaves don't complete me Scribble, scramble, just write my name in graffiti Scramble, 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 scramble Just write my name in graffiti There's a long-standing question of graffiti. Is it art or is it seen as what we call vandalism? Modern graffiti is viewed as a counterculture. It is also closely connected with the hip-hop scene and skating scenes in Limerick. We've been lucky to talk to up-and-coming artists in Limerick who wish to remain anonymous for the sake of this production and will only be referred to by their tag names. They discuss the different issues they have had to face, including police destroying their rights, being chased from the places that they paint. Even though graffiti is seen as an anti-social crime and drug-related pursuit, the main problem for graffiti, like many causes for conflict, is that it is often misunderstood and stunted as an art form by society before it gets a chance to grow. Personally, I'm a very pro-graffiti person. Street art is a harmless form of self-expression that transforms otherwise depressingly grey concrete jungles into something that says to people that I always hear. Just write my name in graffiti. Scramble, 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 scramble. Just write my name in graffiti. Scramble, 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 scramble. Just write my name in graffiti. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Jazz balls for all the backpackers. Ringtone deals for all the whack rappers. Box for all the females, 54 11s, long ponytails. I beat your phony mans up when we was riding on the back of the Yogi Bear bus. Word the herd, word life. We used to go to Highland Park and take dirt bikes. I knew that I would get a deal. I'm so Brooklyn, I rode my pedal bike down Miller Hill. I wanna say what up to B Cat. Keep putting in work, peace to G Rap. I'm representing the beginning, watching them flavor videos with Bobby Simmons. Too much sound scan scams, BDS stress, no talent, they average. But screaming they the best. Had magazines like Right On and Word Up, where they gave artists credit for putting in work. But now magazines got disrespect turned up. When I journey through your journal, I see you journalists suck. This for the dudes with the spray paint in the air who make you wonder, like how we get his name up there. Tagged up and sent you booking. Tagged on the bridge in the subway, so we kept you looking. Looking. They could write your name on TV before the people eyes screaming on the radio. You the best, that's a lie. Write my name in graffiti. The streets recognize that post. I'm the greatest lyricist alive. I don't want to be on TV. I mean, we've painted motorway bridges and we've done all sorts of stuff. We've run into shades and oh, we've still gone away with it. Like, I think I just had this good luck charm. I've never ever been caught. Like, and when people are around with me, they never get caught when they're on their own. They do. Like, so yeah. I think I'm just a good luck charm or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept on with the graffiti and like it was going through my whole leaving cert. Like, and I was like, not paying attention when leaving cert drawn all over my stuff. I like, kept going, kept going, and here I am, like three years later, still living. You can sit down and sketch for three, four hours, come out and paint in for a full day straight. Like and your brain is telling your hand basically, I want to do this and I want to do that. Like and it's your expression from yourself coming out into your into your hour. Tag is basically it's like your it's like a superhero name almost. Like you know, you, you like you obviously wouldn't Yeah, you're all three. You obviously wouldn't write your own name because people would be all like, Oh I know that's you and all like you'd be easy caught like but tag name is kinda like you pick it, make it sound good. Because want, you want to reflect something like, I mean, like with my one, like bias, I love the meaning of the word bias. Like, I mean, it means to be one sided about something. And with this country, there's always bias in this country. So whenever I hear that word, I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. But like the story behind it was uh, it was ridiculous because over like my friend said to me, he's like, yeah, you need to pick a name. Like, and I was like, yeah, I know, I'm working on it. Like, so the first two letters that came into my head were a B and an I. And I, I really liked the way they looked. And I just rolled them down. And then I was like, okay, I look up the dictionary, maybe find a word, four letter, three letter word. Best thing to do is keep them small, never go too big with them, because it's always harder when you big more and more letters, because it's complicated. I mean, it's addictive. I mean, once you start painting, like you want to keep painting more and more. And when you paint something, you're never entirely satisfied with it. So you're yeah, kind of yeah. like, I want to go back and do that better, and I want to show people I can do it better. And you want the respect, and you want people to come up to you and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I saw what you did. You know, it looks really cool. It's kind of like an ego boost. Yeah. You don't have to take anything to do it. You just do it whenever you want. Go anywhere you want to do it. The best. It's like one of the best drugs in the world. It's like a different kind of society almost. Like when you once you get into it, you start like living it basically. Like you eat, breathe, and sleep craft. Like you think of letters, color combinations all the time. Like like not many people can understand it. And it's when you're like say if you're walking around a town, 
you saw a nice wall, people like that would be so cool to paint. Like not many other people would understand that like as well. Mm -hmm. And when you're painting there's like all sorts of different things you can paint, like there's different letter fonts, different ways of painting, different types of painting. But this country is ridiculous, like I mean especially in Limerick, like Limerick is, is ridiculous for graffiti. I mean we have loads of great artists here but the scene is like it's horrible. Like I mean you go to Cork, Dublin, Galway, they all have proper legal spots like where you can go paint anytime you want. Like I mean this place is legal for us like because we know the owner and stuff like but it's not fully legit legal like because the guards or anything haven't sanctioned or the council haven't sanctioned and uh, the spots in other cities are like specifically like the car parks are specific, specifically designated by the council it's like yeah you can go paint here no problem what all this and you can hold competition all that we have to do something like that we have to go through so much hassle which is it's ridiculous like, and we have some of the best artists in ireland as well here we have a lot of people from outside uh, Europe or outside Ireland as well, like with people from Slovakia and Poland and Germany and all it's like living in Limerick and painting. So I mean, the scene is good, but it could be better. I mean, the, the clothes, the scenes, the music, the videos. You could be 50, 60 odd and you'd still have it in your head. Once you get into it, you're never going to get out of it. It's always going to be a part of you no matter what. Like.